Hello! In this video, I'm gonna explain a very concerning question. Uh, why is your alarm so quiet on iPhone? So there are two possible reasons um, why your alarm may be quiet. Let's speak about the more common one. Um, it's gonna be, if I go to settings, um, I'm gonna do that on an example of the place in settings where you can find this setting. Um, in settings, there is sound and haptics and you'll find ringtone and alerts and this is a different volume than the media volume on your iPhone. Uh, media volume is a volume for <clears throat> for your um, media like videos, music or something else that you may be playing on your phone. Um, then ringtone and, and alerts volume is for the ringtone, for the notifications as well as for alarms. And if you set it very low, then not only the ringtone will be low, but also the alarm volume will be low. And if you set it to something higher, both the ringtone and the alarm volume will be high. You can also enable or disable the option to change it with buttons. And now... <clears throat> It comes with some upsides and some downsides. So if you enable changing ringtone and alerts with buttons, then whenever you press on volume up or volume down, depending on what situation you're in, it'll either change media or ringtone and alerts volume. If you're playing some media currently, or you are in an app that mostly plays media, and it's adjusted to that media volume, then it'll adjust the media volume. Like, let's say I'm going into, let's say photos and let's go to my library and play something. Then now I can, I will be changing my media volume here on the left side, there is this bar. Now if I exit out of it and go to the home screen, for example, then now I'm changing the ringtone and alerts volume and what the downside is is that from my experience i often changed the ringtone and alerts to lower by an accident like for example i was playing some tiktok or stuff like that and sometimes just the iphone wouldn't recognize it as the media volume and it was changing the ringtone volume at first like for the first click then the media volume so um like collectively after like a week or so that ringtone would be slowly just going down because i would accidentally turn it down a little bit every other day and that was my downside, so uh, now I just prefer having it disabled for change with buttons and just having it set to a fixed volume. Mm, some volume that is enough for me to hear uh, while I'm asleep, but doesn't really disturb me. Mm. So this is the first thing, because yeah. Uh, the ringtone and alerts volume is also applicable for the alarms. Now, the second thing is Face ID and passcode. May seem weird, but yeah, if you have Face ID set up, or even not, <clears throat> there is um, attention aware features. If you enable that, then when your phone recognizes a face in front of it, it'll turn down the volume of uh, ringtone of alerts and alarms and also do some other things like we'll check you for your attention before dimming the display but the most important part is that it lowers the volume <clears throat> of alarms down and um, you may want to disable it. Most probably, if you have your phone set to an alarm, then 
most probably you are not looking at the phone while sleeping.、Um, but sometimes、uh, some users have reported that it does like accidentally recognize a face even if there's no face in front of it. And I myself also found it sometimes happening. So. If that alarm problem still keeps occurring, even if you're sure your ringtone and, and alerts volume is set to the highest, for example,、mm, and is for sure set, you haven't accidentally set it down,、um, then you may want to disable attention aware features to make sure that this feature doesn't accidentally make that problem. And I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one.